So back in April when we first entered the lockdown, I figured it'd be a good time to actually change up my desk area since I'm going to be working from home a lot. The lack of organization, especially on the cables and constant piling of dust was really getting me and I wanted a more comfortable space to work in over the next few months. I had this layout ever since I moved into this room about 3 years back and I wanted a space that felt more like a private workstation area. But first, I had to move everything out and deep clean the room. I ordered a $50 desk from Ezbuy that came from China, which came with a side shelf as I wanted to make use of the vertical space. The reviews online seemed fairly decent and I thought I'd actually give it a shot. I was actually quite specific with the dimensions. The table had to measure exactly 120cm by 60cm because of how I intended to place the desk whilst maintaining enough walkable space. Now it's all coming together, I went for a single screen setup as opposed to my previous dual screen setup largely due to the lack of space as well as being efficient with what I had. Cable management was a big thing for me as well as I didn't want any stray cables just laying about. I bought some double sided velcro off wish.com and a heavy duty sticky tape as well to ensure that the cables went along the edges. Given that the table was only $50, it was really shaky and the material felt cheap. If not for the white shelf in front of the desk, it would just constantly shake from simple movements like typing. So I needed to rethink. By now it was already the end of May and although we could head back to work soon, I'd still be working from home, so I re-strategized and got a desk from IKEA instead, something which I should have done from the beginning because the table actually costs the same. I gave in and decided to revert to my dual monitor setup for convenience sake. To make up for the lack of space, I purchased a dual arm mount, one for a monitor and one for a laptop. I had to measure this accurately as I was mounting a cable tray underneath to solve my stray cable problems as well.
cable tray is pretty easy to affix, as you can see. All you need is a power drill to screw it in place and it's there permanently. The table itself is pretty intuitive because, well, IKEA. The dual arm mount proved to be one of the best investments I made in all my remodel purchases, as you can see from the ongoing setup. It looks really sleek and it has inbuilt cable management features as well, which solves my cable problems. And now we get closer to the end of the setup, so enjoy. So as you can tell, I have two systems running, one PC and one MacBook Pro. I mainly use my MacBook Pro for work, but on heavier duty tasks, I like video editing, I can easily switch over to my PC. The cable tray proved very useful for the power tray I used to power most of the equipment, as well as storing any straight cables. It looks really sleek and if your table is flushed against the wall, it hides most of the cables and whatever you placed on it. All in all, I am satisfied with the layout and I'm currently making use of it. I feel the best part about this would really be the dual arm mount which gives me my dual screen setup back. But I may change it again in the future for when I get bored. In total, I spent close to $200 on this project, not including the first desk and other miscellaneous items that I bought. Now I do have an upcoming video where a group of us are going to help a friend make over her room, so until then, Thanks for watching and see you next time.